Hey guys, welcome back to this Minecraft Skyblock series. I'm here in the fishing farm and I've been fishing for a while. I get this fishing board that has lure free and that allows me to have this other setup with the short clock, of, with the short um, boat clock. I have fish a ton of things like a few books. This one is a cool book for helmet and also some bows that are apparently broken but this one for example is quite nice it has at least 60 shots more i think with a breaking three and also power four that's a great enchantment and this one with flame that let me cook some of the food that i have there so i can have some uh, cooker food and also i get uh, another two of these rods that have mending and this one has lure free and unbreaking free and this one has only uh, mending and unbreaking so i'm fishing a little bit more if i can get a uh, lack of the sea but that's not the episode of for today the, the plan for today is uh, making a um how you call it a guardian form i think it's called so for that i have to search for a monument or an ocean monument and for that i'm going to be using a app that is uh, an outside app that it's called chunk base it's a web app that you can put your seed on and you have a lot of info about your map so for that i'm gonna be showing you that app okay guys this is the app i've been talking about this is chunk base you have here a lot of tools for seeing different things like for example these green squares uh, represents these slime chunks if i disable they disappear but i think i need them for make the explication that i want to make okay the things i've been thinking about doing in today's episode was about doing a ocean monument farm a guardian farm or uh, getting some sun that in uh, in this mod gets with coral with the dead coral and the other one was to make a witch hut farm in a sky block i can't go in diagonal because it uh, weighs too much blocks so it will be an l and that it's uh, almost eleven thousand blocks so i can do it because it's too far away so i think i'm gonna be starting with the um, with the ocean monument because the warm ocean is also far uh, farthest than the monuments and also i say that i need the slime chunks because i decide to do it in this monument instead of this one even uh, if this one is closer yeah uh, it's uh, farther and this one's closer because this one is right above a square of two by two um slime chunks the the farm so see you see you back in minecraft Back in Minecraft, I've been gathering some acacia logs. I have a footage of a time lapse chopping wood, but I don't think it's necessary of me <laughs> to put it. I can came here the statistics, um, items, time shop, 2,574. I think it's enough with that. Um, and that it is. I've been gathering this. Uh, if you do the maths, I think I need almost 750 slabs to get there so i think that just with this amount of of slabs it will be enough to get there so i think i'm gonna be making a bridge over here in the oo coordinate if you see here i think the oo is over uh, over here it's exactly this point i don't know why i don't center my base in the zero zero. Now I get a little bit of chalk, but uh, the OCT. I think it's called in English OCT. But I think I'm going to be doing the bridge over here and getting farther. And in in the moment I get an iron axe and something to fix a little bit these paths, I I will be doing that. So so my life now is going a uh, seven hundred. 700 blocks in that direction and then 56 in that i think so see you when i when i'm getting there i arrived here to the spot you've seen it in the time lapse of me 
making this long path. And if I press R here, I enable the structures, I think. Oh, to enable everything. And this one is um, the other monument. And this one is the one I'm willing to make the, the farm at. So I think I have to go home, take some ladders to make uh, a better platform and bring the things with my with my donkey, all the things that I will need to make the, the farm. To actually make the farm, I'm going to take off this. And also I'm going to be going to my, to my creative world to test some of the designs I'm willing to do. So that is for, for now. I'm, I'm going to be switching to my, to my creative world. Well, this is the approach I've been making about this Guardian farm, but I think I don't like it that much. I use this concept that I've used um, five or six years before in a squid form, but I think this is not useful anymore right now because I think putting these um, fence gates, it will be making the place with less spawning plots and all the guardians are seem to be falling to the um, water columns. They don't go past to the fence gates. That is the improvement for the fall speed from the guardians. So I think this is not a good approach. I'm going to be turning this all down. I've been doing like three hours or two hours about studying this, about studying how the how the guardians spawn how much items we can get from Hopper and after a few hours of recording and making this I think this is not a great approach because it gets you only if you can do it here yes you can see it here it gets me only 4,000 blocks per hour and 4,000 blocks per hour oh my clip <laughs> turned out uh, what I was saying is that 4,000 items per hour is not enough because a Hopper can handle up to 10,800 blocks per hour and this is less than half of that so I have to do it faster um, and for that I think I'm going to be turning all of this off and making making it uh, step by step seeing uh, for a better way to to collect the guardians to kill them faster and to have more of them spawning over here so so this is it, my morning goes a waste, uh, well, it doesn't go a waste because I've learned a lot, but it's, it's quite hard when, when something like this happens to you, so I'm going to be restarting this project. One of the things that I've learned by doing the previous approach is that this setup that I've done uh, gather the guardians quite fast because of these three, uh, this three fall, well, this three white fall. But the thing is that they stay alive for too much. So I think that the better thing for me to do is to make a system for them to die faster. And the next round of spawning guardians uh, spawns also faster and uh, I get them faster. So I think that the way to do this is by making a central chamber with a bigger fall, a 34 block fall. For them to die instantly and then collect the items uh, of there by I don't know exactly the method but collect the, the items from a 3x3 three three fall or maybe a 3x3 three three four, uh, fall where we we're gonna be talking about that in a moment okay I think this chamber will be better for me to collect the, the mobs but I don't know exactly how to do this fall over here because if you see if I put here some guardians uh, uh, with a G no guardian spawn an egg this is guardian spawn an egg if I put them I think yes if you see they jump over the over the hole and they end up lasting uh, longer than I would like in the in the hole so I've been thinking about putting here a block for them to fall faster. I don't know if this will work, but it seems like 
it seems like they would beat the block. Maybe a block is bigger than it should be, and maybe it's better to have just regular fences. Let me see if I put some of them over here. I think this is a great setup. I think this one should be also if you see when they came closer the they changed the aggro of if you can see it with this they changed the aggro because this is a void block I think maybe if I put here this may be too much complicated but I don't know if I put here like this Okay, this one's this setup is without the um, without the trapdoors, and it works pretty nice, I think. But I think the as I was saying, as I been saying, the the guardians try not to get into the void. But here with the with the trapdoor, I think this setup is actually faster let me see i think it is i think it is actually faster yes for sure it is for sure it is so i think this one with the with the trapdoors will work nicer the next thing i've learned by doing this is that this setup does not work this setup with the with the columns of water with the pillars of water it's obvious that it's not the the best way to do it so i think i'm going to be doing this and changing all of this for just for just water well this has the inconvenient of them getting stuck by killing fish okay and this uh this have another problem that is that if you see here this is not the full the full bounding box so i'm going to be changing that okay yes it seems like now there are more more of these wardens spawning Obviously, <laughs> spawn more, and they they fall by themselves. They get down. So I think this is going to be the new chamber. It's a bigger one, but I think I don't know how to do it for me to be the less resource-consuming one. But I'm going to be fusionating that with this, and I think it will be. A, a winner approach okay this setup works quite nice if you see here there is a yes the chamber the big chamber and down the collection system and with this fence i'm actually getting 700 uh, no, 700 uh, items per hour uh, 7000 items this is nice it's pretty nice but i think i want to push it to 10000 so i don't know how i'm going to be doing this maybe i'm going to turn this uh fence post off and see how it works with that uh, turn to creative maybe if i take this off because when i was testing it i've seen the actually i'm getting to the mob cap at some points so i think if i do it without without the fence post without the fence post maybe it works a little bit better so i'm going to change the wood for another to set it maybe the white one okay okay the white wood and now i'm going to be making the same test and see if this setup works a um, little bit better okay i've made little changes and after this test 
Là dán cô chú We are up to 8000 uh, items per hour I think I could boost it a little bit more But I don't know exactly how I think this one is one of the best setups Because it, it is constantly getting up to 65 And then lowering back to uh, maybe even 35 or 40 so this is a great setup and also this is just a 4x4 and we're not getting here like massive massive traffic jams of of guardians uh, it's getting nice if i put it faster as you can see um it's not getting a ton of them stuck they just go and fall almost instantly and i think this is this is a great setup, 8,000 blocks per hour, uh, 8,000 items per hour, I think is just enough for the things I'm, I'm willing to do by now. And I think like maybe later in the series we can make a, a review about this, uh, a redo, and make it a little bit better. But for now, that is, uh, I need this farm for getting a ton of blocks by FK. Uh, I think this is... This is good enough, good enough at least. 8,000 blow, 8,000 items. I think this is the farthest I can push this right now with my actual PC and with my actual setup and the blocks I can get. So now I have to deal with the next problem. And that one is that um, this setup is using a uh, 7 by 16 this is 17 42 112 iron ingots and i will have to be gaining the mob farm like for days to get 112 iron ingots so i have to decide how to get these items collected by now and i think i will be using a water stream but i don't know exactly how Okay, I'm thinking about doing something like this, that is like a, like a flus of a toilet, that I have this water stream and here I have like a hole, and when I open this for a while, maybe like this length, all the items that are here goes into, into there. But this has also an inconvenient, that is that in the time that the water is open, all the wardens that fell off are going to stack over here. So this is, I think is the only way I have to do it, but also I think is um, not the best one. Okay, if I get into the camera mode and I press the right click, I just wanted to see if there are some items that are still over here when I do this. I think all of them get flashed over here, so this is nice enough, nice enough, okay, 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 okay. This first of the walkthrough of this skyblock is quite hard because all the redstone uh, mechanisms I have to do are quite the same, so I think here uh, what I'm going to be doing is here a boat clock, a big boat clock. And I think this is all the redstone I need for it to to be working because I just have to press it to this to turn it off. I don't know exactly how long I have to be pressing the pressure plate. I don't know if with just a, a short flash it's enough. Okay, this is the, the hopper I've made. Uh, and I sound a little bit happy because after a while testing after a few hours of making this, now I can say that this produced 10,414 items and a hopper deals with 10,800 uh, 10, items. So this is um, the top I can get with just one hopper. So I'm pretty happy, I'm pretty happy with this uh, radio. This is uh, the setup I've been using. So I'm going to copy this to a, a schematic and just have to to place it in my in my survival world so see you see you doing that with my hunky now fully storage with all the things i need i have even a bed and some pickaxes to break bone blocks if i misplace them 
I'm ready to start this this build so I'm going to be going to the to the place I'm I'm working at and doing this so see you see you in there Well, as you see in the time lapse, I constructed all of this. I handled the water up there, and if you see here, I have a ton of them accumulated here because I, if I stay over here again, they are less prone to despawn. So I have this feeling. I have a ton of logs. Also, I have my donkey down there, um, loaded with uh, lanterns, and I've made a little source system here for for me to be AFK in here and making some blocks and that's it for now I'm going to go uh, to my main part to my main base I made also here a pool for me to jump down and, and go faster and I'm going to take my donkey and go back to home to my home and, and start using these blocks to the things that I want because the fact is that I constructed all of this farm just to get uh, a way to to have endless uh, amounts of blocks uh, just by FK and not having to be chopping wood for a lot. As you can see here, I have a ton of sea lanterns. There are lightning blocks, lightning sources that I can get a lot of them by just AFK. So I think this farm is going to to massively improve my my playthrough. For now, I expand a little bit this. Paths. I'm gonna be surrounding all my old paths with Acacia with this cover of Prismarine just to get them a little bit thicker for for me to be more mm, comfortable and also I've expanded a little bit this uh, chest section I take off the, the the crafting tables that were over here and make this a little bit cramped and I put them here with this little design, it's not anything a little bit fancy, but I think it's better than having them alone. And also I put this here to have a little bit of light when I take the, um, the gamma off and also for the mouse not to spawn. And this is it. I think the next thing I'm going to be doing is uh, changing the animals and get them to blood when I can have... Um, some more with the cows, some more with the pig, and some more with the sheep. Uh, this is what I'm gonna be doing right now. Well, I planted here some crops to have a little regeneration of my of my crops and not dealing with 
just having carrots or other things by killing zombies. So I have here a little plot with with these scraps. I've moved my my animals and I'm gonna be turning this platform off. And the other thing I wanna show you is the advancements I get just for for playing for now. I have this one because I breed there out there I breed uh, some pigs and I get this achievement this advancement and also I get another one okay I have the the seed ones and I think I get yes this animal feed with a farm that is to to feed some animals and also I have here the one with the pigs that are uh, you get them for breeding some pigs um, and this is it for now, I have some of them. I think I could plant here some potatoes and get a, get a poisoned potato and can get this one that says here convert a spider into a cave spider with poisoned potato. That it's an advancement that I can fulfill now just for a little. And this is the, the advancement for, for now. I have some of them by now and I think I'll end up the theory when I complete all of the all of the advancements that you can get even I don't know if I can get this one with diamonds I think it will be a way with the uh, with uh, mod or if not I can do a trick that a um, Spanish creator called the rich um, create like a whole lot of ago that is um, in the in the end have some platforms or stone and moving them through the void and then they end up creating some of the minerals and resources that will create by themselves uh, in a normal spawning world it's crazy video um this is spanish creator is one of the best in technical aspects if he is the first one that um invents a way for for someone to get the bedrock item in survival world and that is crazy and it's one of my inspirations in this uh, minecraft technique community also i think i'm gonna get a uh, advancement by cutting this with a silk touch ah no i get it for earlier with the by getting this with the enderman i'm going to be chopping some of this grass to have it okay and just by by having this i have secured that i'm not gonna be uh, running off with this grass and i'm gonna be keeping this as safe as i can because it's one of the most valuable resources in the in this game okay this is it for for today if you if you like the video you can leave a like a comment subscribe to the channel also i'm going to make some new series and if you are interested in uh, anything in special, I have been thinking about doing a CDM map, not doing it by myself, uh, creating it, but by playing it. And also, I've been thinking about doing a hardcore or survival in a normal world series that I think could be could be great. And and if you are willing to see some of those content, just uh, leave a comment down below, and I'll be doing the one that you prefer to see. So see you in the next episode and have a good week. Bye.